10 annual flowers for a butterfly container garden. Blue Ageridum, also known as floss flower, is beloved for its sky blue shade and its tidy growth habit. The flowers look like powder puffs and also come in pink shades and white. Plant the blue Danube variety in small containers, or try the blue horizon in larger pots. The clear blue hue and rich nectar content of cornflowers are highly prized by many butterfly species. Some gardeners grow this as an herb, so consider pairing it with parsley or fennel to provide host food for caterpillars and a nectar source for butterflies in one pot. Large cosmos varieties are cottage garden staples with their billowing ferny foliage and casual daisy-shaped flowers, but the smaller varieties perform well in large container gardens. Pink popsicle, cosmic orange, and sonata mix are three dwarf varieties that won't exceed two feet in height. Cosmos plants are legendary for their drought tolerance in the garden but appreciate regular irrigation in containers. Midsummer and early fall is an important feeding time for butterflies, and also the prime time for growing dahlias. Skip the dinner plate varieties for your container garden, and instead grow dwarf varieties like the peach, Mary Jo, pink, park princess, or red and yellow, Tahiti sunrise. Plant your dahlias in containers at least 12 inches in diameter, and keep the soil evenly moist throughout the growing season. Early season butterflies appreciate the cool weather blooming season of annual and biennial pinks or sweet william flowers. Dianthus plants appreciate sharply draining soil, which is easier to provide in containers than in the ground. The Parfait series offers charming bicolor blooms, or try the Telstar series for improved heat tolerance. Dianthus plants perform best without an organic mulch, but you can add decorative gravel or rock mulch to your container planting. Like the gray hairstreak butterfly in this photo, many butterflies find the compact florets of Gomphrina flowers appealing. The Gnome and Buddy series of plants are especially compact, although globe amaranths generally don't exceed 18 inches, especially in container culture. Plants started from seed may not bloom until July, so buy transplants if you're eager for earlier blooms. The Egyptian star flower is a fast-growing annual that blooms prolifically in hot, humid climates. Although the flowers are available in pink, white, lavender, and rose shades, gardeners who choose a red variety are apt to attract hummingbirds in addition to butterflies. Popular in our grandparents' gardens, petunias have enjoyed a revival as breeders offer new colors, better branching, and more rainproof blossoms. Look for compact multiflora varieties like the Carpet series or Primetime series, or fill in blank spots in your containers with milliflora types that produce one-inch flowers on miniature plants, like Fantasy. The small clusters of sweet alyssum emit a distinct honey-like fragrance in mild weather flower gardens, attracting early emerging butterflies hungry for nectar. You can tuck these small plants into the pockets of strawberry pots, place them at the margins of your containers, or allow them to trail over your hanging baskets. The plants respond well to shearing after the exhaustive heat of summer. Verbena flowers are irresistible to many species of butterflies, like this red admiral, producing just the right shades of purple, pink, salmon, or red blossoms brimming with nectar. If you have a large container, you can grow the airy V. bonariensis pictured here, which tops out at about 4 feet tall on thin, wiry stems and is favored by the pipevine swallowtail. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.